Today, I would like to show you how to use the main human uh, to produce the base model. I mean, the model used for carrier design, um, and also use the ZBrush to continue to paint and uh, manipulate the base model. Okay, let's talk about the main human. Main human is an easy way to make the base model for character design, and uh, this software is free, so you can download from website of the official set and uh, you can see that here we have a uh, my body you can set up the uh, you can set up the gender and also you can set up the age muscle weights high proportion proportion and then you set the re uh, the race for instance Africa or maybe different and also, you can set up whether it's Asia or a very special re race called Casasia. Uh, <laughs> okay, anyway. Okay, and the second one is uh, a that you can set the proportion of the different shape of the body and of the face and uh, etc. Arm and uh, so many things. You can set up everything in detail. Okay, let me make one model quick. Okay, here we are. You can see this model I created yesterday. And uh, let me uh, double check. Okay, you can see that material here. You see a lot of texture. So you must let uh, the texture, for instance, this texture is, uh, you can double click here you can change the texture of the uh, base model and uh, also remember you need to set up uh, many things for instance this is skin only so also the eyeball choose the eyeball here okay for instance you want to colorize eyeball to blue here and of this here double click it then the tongue okay so you must make sure that every part of the body, the texture icon you click, double click. Okay, then once you done the base model, and you can export, um, export to the to be the FBS file. Okay, FBS file is a common file used to bridge between uh, software such as you now using the next human you want to produce the file that you can be used uh, in the Maya or the brush so you need to export this character to the FBS file so let's use the file here you can see that here the export so you can select the match format FBX then choose the folder um, I create a new folder here called base model okay so choose the file name base model there one okay then save the file okay it's done okay Let's go to the ZBrush. I use the ZBrush 2018. And uh, so how I import the file of a BS, FBS, you can use the Z plugin here. And uh, use FBS as per import. Then import FBX. That's where the folder here. Okay. So choose the Base model there one FBS file. Then open it. Okay, file import. So you can see that this is the base model I you I create. Uh, yeah. However, the color is quite different, right? And yeah, so let's go to next step. You need to choose the material to skin shadow 4 
So make sure that you choose the signature for. But as you can see, that the resolution is quite low, and uh, so I need to increase the. Uh, uh, I need to increase the resolution of the model. So I go to sub tool here. As you can see, that there are four sub tool. So each of them need to increase the resolution. I so I use the geometry. I divide. I open the smooth and I divide one. Two, three, four. Okay, so now we have subdivide five now. So the subdivide five, we can see that uh, resolution is now very high, and uh, the quality of the paint is uh, now is accessible. Okay, if I go to the subdivide one, you can see that here is a. Uh, uh, this resolution you cannot use this resolution to paint the base model. Okay, so because we have a uh, four sub tool, so each of sub tool need to increase to uh, sub divide five. So let's do it. So make sure that each uh, sub divide, uh, each sub tool increase the sub divide to five. So everything needs to be sub to five. Okay. So that's done it. So next step is how uh, how can I uh, paint on this uh, model? Okay, let's go to set up to the sub to five. Okay, you see that the resolution now is okay. But if you you uh you need to go to polypen and the polypen from texture, otherwise it cannot paint. So press the polypen from texture. So it said uh, RGB mode is off. Okay, I forgot to turn this on. Okay, RGB on, and. Uh, because I want to paint now, I close the Z edit. I don't want to sculpture it. I don't want to paint. So I use I open RGB. Normally you open RGB for painting and close the Z edit or Z sub. Okay. So I press poly paint from texture again. Okay. So now you then you can colorize now. And I show the example. I want to increase the color of arm um, between the chest and the uh, the back arm here. Okay, then I I can use C, press C button, so I can um, gather the the color of the castle here. Then I increase the color. Then set up the RGB and send us to lower. Okay. Make sure that you open the symmetry. So press button X, open the symmetry. So I pen here. So as you can see, that the, the color I pen here. Okay. Press C again. Okay. Or maybe put some color here. Anyway, okay. Then I make I want then I make the tattoo here. Maybe the texture. Oh no, the alpha and the star. And make the tattoo in here, maybe here. Okay. So after that, I make I need to update the texture. So here's the texture map. So I create new phone polypens. 
So this is a new texture. So I clone, if I want to uh, expert the texture, I clone, I will press the button here, clone texture. You can see that texture here already produced the new texture. Then I expert the texture. For instance, texture here, and I choose the file format to PNG. Then I can replace the original texture here. Or maybe give a new name. It's better to give the new name. And there one. Okay. So let's double check it. Okay, this is a new texture. So you can see that here's the tattoo here also has dark color uh, around the chest. Okay. So you want I want to save the file, of course you can press the uh, maybe here, save it as the tool. So best model zero one. Okay. So you can select the you can save it to the ZTL file. Another thing that you may expert expert. You can use the FBS expert import function. You can expert to different one. Okay, zero two. Okay. Okay, that's um, end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you.